Okay. Hello. Hello and good morning, everybody. Happy Thank Friday. You. It is actually Friday the 13th, which in Italy doesn't really mean much to many people, but in the States, it is a little bit superstitious. I don't know, Kendra, are you superstitious? I'm not superstitious, but yeah, you, you always see, oh, Friday the 13th, you have a little yeah. moment of, oh, okay. Yeah, but right. I do like the number 13. I do like that number, actually. Really? Like thir there's 13 moons in one year, for example. Ah. I don't know, it's, it's a nice... It's a nice number, but anyways, happy Friday to everyone. If you're joining us from wherever you are, we're happy to have you. We are doing Hi, a Katerina. lovely webinar. Hi, Katerina, and welcome. Nice to see you. Hope you all have slept well, that you're taking care of yourself, um, trying to relax and enjoy as much as possible in this very yeah. unique moment. Um, so we wanted to start by asking you, What's your name, where are you from, and what's your favorite type of music? Yeah, and we have it, it's showing up in a different way, interesting. It is, yeah, a bit smaller. So I'll cool. start perhaps, I am Monique, I am from Los Angeles, and my favorite type of music, such a good question that I wasn't prepared for. Wow, what's my favorite? <laughs> I don't think I have one favorite type of music, but lately I really mm. like Andean music. So music from the Andes, such Andean. as oh. Andean, like so from Bolivia, Northern Argentina, uh, Peru. This is like winos or, it's lovely music that I've been listening to a lot lately. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, if you guys don't know, Monique is a musician. I so her music tastes are very diverse. <laughs> are very varied. Yes. Very varied. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Beatrice. Welcome. Hi, Beatrice. Nice to see you. We're asking everyone, what's your name? Where are you from? And what's your favorite type what's of your music? your favorite type of music? Yeah. Um, well, for me, did you introduce yourself? I'm... I did. I did. Okay. All right. I was like, I think I was typing. So oh. I'm Kendra. I'm from Seattle, but I live in Bologna. My favorite type of music, I'm quite a fan of indie music. Nice. I think I'm the typical Seattleite for that. Oh yeah, Seattle, incredible history of music, right? Amazing city. So indie, when you say indie, do you mean indie rock? Yeah, like indie rock. Also, I've been, I kind of like, is there like a mix of indie electronic kind of? Probably. Yeah. Indie electro or something. Electro, electro indie. Yeah. I don't know. We can we can also create genres too. So why not electro indie? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I think Monique, yeah. your screen froze, but we can still hear you. So. Oh, interesting. So I could pop out. I'll come back. I'll be right back. Okay. Monique will come back. We'll still we'll read some of these other people what they have to say. So Chiara lives in Milan, and her favorite type of music is pop Italian music. Yes. What what pop Italian music? What's your favorite artist? Let us know. And Beatrice, okay, there's Monique. She's Hi, back. back. That looks a little better. Okay, good. Yeah. Beatrice lives in Milano, and her favorite music is classical and don't forget your D and jazz music. Okay. Awesome. I Very like all of those musics. Yeah, all of those musics. Yes, I like <laughs> jazz quite a bit. Let's see, Luca. Oh, hello, Patrick. Welcome, Hi, Luca. Patrick. Says, Hi, I'm Luca and I'm from Novara. My favorite type of music is hip hop and R&B. Quiz, pop quiz. Does anyone know why it's called R&B? Good question. R&B. So the N is for and, right? So I wrote it down here. It's R&B, R&B music, right? So what is the R and what is the B? Any ideas? I'm gonna ask everyone. We'll put it in a. Yeah. Why is it called R and B? Why? Do you I like R and B, Kendra? Yeah, I like R and B. Okay, that's I, not. <laughs> it's not my. Like, I like it. It's not what? my my first choice. I think when I was younger, I listened to a lot of um, more like punk rock music. Yeah, yeah, I did and that too. slowly Seattle. changed. Yeah, Seattle. Wow, so many great bands from Seattle. Incredible. Incredible. I'm very yeah. proud of my music background being from yeah. Seattle. 
I once went to the OK Hotel, which I think maybe has closed, but it was like a, a punk venue. I went a long time ago and it was really exciting to be there. Yeah. But let's see here, Patrick Conti. My favorite type of music is classic. So be careful, Patrick, because classic is just an adjective. And when you say classic, at least for me, I'm not sure about you, Kendra, but I think of classic rock. Classic rock is Led Zeppelin. Classic rock is the Eagles. Classic rock is kind of the 1970s. Lots of guitars, right? Lots so, guitars. Patrick, if you're talking about Mozart, Beethoven, Brahms, and Rachmaninoff, for example, that's classical music. Classical right? music. Classical music. Classical so. music. Um, we Beatrice, another- and we will tell you in one minute what our. Yeah, we will is. tell you. And good morning, Lisa. Um, Hi, Lisa. Nice to see you. Nice to see you. Classical. Classical with the A-L. Yeah. Classical. And then yes. Catalina is saying, I was born in Livorno. I live here with my family. I played piano since I was a child. Wow. wow. And I started with classical music. Don't forget classical. Classical. Yeah, um, classical. I'll put it in the comments, too. But I usually <laughs> listen... Ooh, another thing. For the verb listen, we need the preposition to. Because it is active. You Mm -hmm. are actively using your brain when you're listening. Using your brain, your neurons, your nervous system, and your ears. So you listen to. If it's not active, then hear. I hear Kendra speaking, right? I hear the neighbors. I hear the, the radio. But when we're actively, it's listening, listening. to so everyone, too. To, 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 to. Listen to. That's Very great. Good. How cool. So we have a pianist in the, in the house today. That's great. Yeah. And then we got an answer to what is R and B. Yeah. Right Rhythm on. Rhythm and cool. blues. Rhythm, good. mind you, is one of the most difficult words to spell in the English language. I am a musician. I can confirm with everyone that it is so commonly misspelled. Let's see if I got it right. So it's rhythm, rhythm yes. and blues. Very strange. All of it's all consonants, basically. Rhythm, rhythm but yeah. and blues. R and B. Yeah. So very nice, Filippo. Yeah. So someone had asked, "What is R and B?" So Beatrice, R and B would be Beyonce. It would be think of like. Ooh, baby, baby, oh, like something like who else is R and B? Solange or um, Erica Badu, maybe could be R and B. Can you think of others, Kendra, that are R and B singers? Something more like <laughs> that. Usher. Is that okay? But like Usher, Usher. or even yeah. you could say that Pharrell is R and B, or really nice voices generally. A lot of background vocals, really. I like R and B. Like when it's well produced R and B, you're like, whoa. No, you're right. Really good music. Yeah. Let's see Chiara here. Hi, I live in Naples. Yeah. I don't have a favorite type of music, but in this period I listen to To. (laughs) I listen to remember the T O. I listen to rap music. Very nice. Cool. Listen to, listen to. Very good. Awesome. Awesome, I wonder guys. if she wow. listens to rap music in Neapolitan or in Italian or in English. Yeah, yeah. what rap music, Chiara? What kind? What type mm-hmm. of rap music? Mm-hmm. We're curious. We're music cool. people. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Carla says, good morning. Excuse me, I'm late. No problem, Carla. This is the World Wide Web. You can come in whenever you'd like. We are all here. <laughs> I mean, there's We're always here. something happening in this magical world of the World Wide Web, fortunately, which means we all have something to do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> We're right, not completely. Lovely. We're not alone. We're at home. Exactly. Can, so. Question, Monique, can you hear the, the little cough drop I put in my mouth? No, it's not bothering when me. When I move it? I mean, yes, but it's not a problem. I don't okay, I just want to make sure it's not super Rather loud have for our drop. students. No, it, I'd rather you have that. a cough drop for your throat than worry. It's it's not too loud. No. Okay, good. We have another yeah, well, Carla. Carla Robertson. 
I was born in the Bolivian forest. My favorite type of music is world music and traditional music. That's very cool, Carla. Okay. I wonder if Carla then most likely Carla knows Andean music, which is also very common in Bolivia. Um, for example, Huayno. So anyways, that's great to have you here with us, Carla. Very cool. I also really like world music and I really like traditional music, so. Yeah. Beautiful. Great. Good, we have okay, a nice guys. mix of people. Yeah. Yeah, have a nice mix. So might as well, let's take a look at our, our focus for today, which is preferences. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it looks like Carla does know that type of music. That's awesome, two thumbs up. I'm happy, the, uh, the unicorn's happy. The unicorn's happy, <laughs> unicorn's back today, guys. And yeah, Gianna unicorn's generally, generally listens to Italian rap. Okay. Awesome. I like Very Italian cool. rap. It sounds really cool. It does, yeah. Well, I mean, the Italian language ends in almost in, always in vowels, right? So True. it's very musical. It's very interesting. Yeah. Yeah. It has Italian a nice rap. like Yeah. Kendra, do you rap in Italian? No. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I've tried. I've tried. I've tried. But yeah. Okay. I'm afraid to try. Though. Well. Don't be afraid. No fear. In this focus activity, you wanna you wanna read, Monique? I would love to. So, in this focus activity, phrases for preferences, comparatives and superlatives review, and making plans. Making plans. Making plans. Yeah. So, let's hear some more about your opinions. So, tell us what do you think? What is the best food activity? music, film, sport, animal, or book. And we'll see and, if we agree with each other. And we invite you to write complete sentences so you get yeah. more practice, right? Remember when using the superlative that you need the, because I think the best. For example, if you look in the upper left-hand corner where, it's set, where it shows that game, I think chess is the best activity. Yeah. Yeah, for example. Do you like or chess? No, <laughs> I, I prefer chess. checkers. I don't yeah. know if anyone knows what checkers is. It's similar to chess, but it's just the round, flat pieces, the red it's and black ones. Yeah, I don't, I don't really play checkers. I played with my grandma. <laughs> See, and I played chess with my grandpa. So. Okay. Yeah. No, I played. Um, we're gonna have a comment about my mom again every time oh, okay. we have a comment about Cheryl. my mom. No, we're yep. all starting to get to know Cheryl. That's hi, great. Mom. Mom. Hello, hi mom. So <laughs> hi mom to our both of our moms in Seattle yeah. and in Los Angeles. We in love you. Seattle, LA. We do. Um, but the first time I learned to play chess, I was on a camping trip with my dad oh, and I went home. My parents are divorced. So I went I'm back too. home to my mom. And um, I was like, I want to play chess. Like, I'm good at chess. Let's play chess. And she beat me. She won. Yeah. And I started to cry. No. Um, I was a very sore loser when I was younger. Yeah, so I understand. I didn't it play chess happen. after that. <laughs> so that was traumatic then, and you never looked back. You never, never played, played again. again. No. Yeah. So sad, such a sad story. Yeah, but my mom was like, I'm not gonna play chess with you if you act like this. Sure. So, yeah, 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 yeah. So we have Angela saying, hi, I'm sorry I'm late. Not a problem, Angela. We're very happy to have you with us. Um, yeah, no problem whatsoever. Uh, we have Patrick, my favorite food is cannoli. Very nice, mm -hmm. yeah. Cannoli are very sweet and very nice. <laughs> Chiara, my favorite food is pizza. Very we have nice. a lot of pizza. Also, mm. Luca, my favorite Luca. food is pizza. Yeah, pizza. Carla. Pizza is amazing. Wow, Carla, my favorite food is Indian food. I love spiced food. Maybe spicy, spicy food. Yeah, so Carla, to describe food that when you put it in your mouth, you go, ah. <laughs> spicy, <laughs> spicy, spicy food. food. Yeah, I like yeah, spicy I food. I, I miss good Indian food. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
You're saying in Bologna, there's not really good Indian. I mean, it's well, different. Right? There's a there's. I've heard there's a good restaurant. I haven't been to the restaurant, but I've ordered mm -hmm. takeout yeah. from the restaurant, and someone told me that their takeout is bad, but the food oh, in the restaurant really? is good. So I need to try the restaurant. But yeah. my my stepmother is Indian. Oh, that's so cool. So you mean so, your dad so is married to an Indian woman? So or is, no, it's, it's maybe it's complicated. My family is very complicated. Okay. Um, he's not married to her anymore, but he was okay. married to her after my mother. Gotcha. My okay. dad's been married a few times. So my dad um, remarried just once, and he's still married to his second wife. So okay. <laughs> no, my dad's on his fourth. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Does so, he live in Seattle as well? No, now he lives in Georgia. Oh, how nice. Yeah. But he, he's, both my parents are from California. Oh, interesting. So I'm really familiar with California, but him and his wife now, they, he retired. She still works, um, but they moved to Georgia. Cool. I changed states, but yeah. there's some more, more. We do indeed. Oh, my favorite uh, yeah. pasta and ice cream. I'm very, very greedy. So nice, Angela. Okay, you want a lot of pizza, a lot of pasta, and a lot of ice cream. Mm -hmm. All right. And Chiara, my favorite ooh. sport is sword play. Neat. But I prefer individual sports in general. Sword play, do you mean fencing by yeah. chance? Fencing would be when you have a uh, yeah that sword, and then you go exactly like Kendra said on guard. <coughs> Touche. Touche. Exactly. Thin piece of metal. It's like thin piece of metal. Exactly. Yeah. Beatrice, I think that Inferno is the best book written in the last period. Okay, in last the last. Period is a bit vague. Do you mean in the last few years, in the last 100 years? Yeah. Do you mean in the last 1,000 years? Are you talking about Dante? <laughs> yeah, the last decade. The last decade, the last millennia. Yeah, the last millennia. Yeah. That's yeah. the period. period. Yeah. But we have a Lord of the Rings fan. Mm. Okay, my favorite book Very is Lord cool. of the Rings. Is it really? Um, nice. Ooh, no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, for Patrick, yes. Yeah, Patrick says, oh, okay, I, th I didn't realize you were reading it. Lord of the Rings is the best oh. book in the world. Okay, good. I was like, it's fine. Yeah. Um, two of my favorite activities, good Carla, with the plural, activities are to sew and to paint. Yes. Good. So. Yeah, everyone, if you are not familiar, to sew, the pronunciation, sew, is when you have a needle and thread. Yeah. So. And then to paint. To paint. Mm. And Beatrice, the San Bernardo is the best dog's race. So when you're using the superlative, you want to make sure it's very clear what you're talking about, right? Because the San Bernardo is the best dog's race. I'm not sure it's clear for me. Breed? Perhaps, the, perhaps the best breed. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Thank you, Beatrice. Yeah, San, Chiara says say yes. San okay. Bernard, San Bernard. Saint Bernard. Oh, Saint, Saint Bernard. Saint Bernard, English, yeah. a Saint Bernard. Yeah. And Chiara says yes, which means, <laughs> where were we, that her favorite Sport is fencing that she had fencing. called sword play, which was very creative and very nice. <laughs> a good, uh, good solution for the temporary time. But yes, yeah, fencing. Sword play was more for theater. I've never heard sword play as a, an activity. I think they but... say sword play in oh, theater cool. because it's like acting. They're not uh -huh. actually fighting. That's interesting. Angela, that. my favorite sport is swimming. So swimming mm. turns into a noun, swimming. I think that is the most complete sport. So you want to put first the adjective before the noun. So the most complete sport. But that's great, Angela. I like to swim as well. Stefania says, hi. 
Hi. Hi Look here, we have a guest all the way from South Africa. Hello. Joanna. Hi, Joanna. It's nice to see you. Yeah. Joanna is a teacher as well at my English yes. school. Yeah, um, she you. says, the best book that I've read in a long time is The Girl the with Girl. the Pearl Earring. Mm -hmm. Nice. That's great. So it could be a recommendation for everyone out there. I've never, I don't think I've read that. Oh, we have a sure. question. Mm. Breed is? Breed Ooh. is the type of dog. For example, Chihuahua. Uh, I don't know. What are other breeds of dogs? Um, um, I know a lot. Golden Retrievers, Border Collies, French Bulldogs, um, Normal Bulldogs. Walker uh, Hound. I know one. Yeah. Uh, German Shepherds. Um, labs, uh -huh. Labradors, Dalmatians, Dalmatians. These are all types of dogs. Yeah. So yeah. Beatrice, these are breeds of dogs. Which one? Shih Tzu. <laughs> so funny. And then we have Kiara who's asking, "What is swordplay?" So I'll try to say it because I just learned from Kendra what it is. And in I'll theater. Okay, yeah, we can check. But in theater when you do a fencing scene where it's not really the sport, but it's done for theater. So for the purpose of a theater, a play, you would take two swords and go on guard, dun, 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 but there's not a real winner or loser. It's acting. Did I understand correctly? Yeah, I'm looking now and it's oh, saying okay. the activity or skill of fencing. Oh, wow. Well. I thought it had to do with theater. So, yeah, I mean, it could be also a technical term used. I mean, Chiara, it might be that that is used within the field of of fencing and fencing. sword play. Right? I mean, yeah. I'm not a fencer, and I don't know if you are, Kendra, but there's always the possibility that there's specific technical terms related to something. So, yeah, yeah, but yeah, that's no, what I only know touche and on guard. <laughs> exactly. Katerina says, in this period, I'm enough bored, so I tried to spend times at home in the best way. Before this period, I went to, to gym, and now I try to train here at home. That's great, Katerina. Good for you. Today, I want to try to do yoga at home. I moved my furniture in my room so that I have space. I'm going to try. But I'm bored. I'm enough bored. Mm, you I think you need a different... Um helper. Maybe, Maybe I'm really I'm, bored. I'm really bored. I'm so bored, right? I'm yeah. so bored. I'm very and then, bored. I'm very bored, right? And then I went to the gym, to the mm -hmm. gym. But the yeah, gym. there's just so everyone knows there are people are starting <coughs> to put on, for example, I do yoga and I'm noticing people are starting to offer webinars similar to this webinar, which is for the English language, but um, free online yoga uh, classes, for example. Really? Yeah, if you look it up, you can find some. Um, I found one for this afternoon. If I find it, I can share it as well. But so Katerina, you could also look and see if perhaps there are some things online that are being offered by, yeah. for example, fitness instructors, or a lot of people are bringing that what they do online to sh share it so that, I mean, a lot of us are Board at home, so yeah. you know, to try to keep ourselves active. But thank you for sharing, Katerina. Yeah, I'm not too webinars. It really okay. entertains me. Oh, that's yeah. true. I agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Here. Carla is saying. Actually, my favorite book is La Profe La Profecia de la Curandera. This book speaks. So third person speaks about an ancient tradition of curanderos in the Andes. So if people aren't familiar with the term curanderos, this is a Spanish term meaning healer, right? Healer. Oh. So I'm going to write down this book. That sounds very interesting, but not with my unicorn pen because it doesn't work. Thank you, Carla. Work. Interesting. Thank you for the suggestion, Bella. And just a little tip, Carla, and for everyone. When we talk about instead of saying a book or a movie speaks about, we can just say it is about. We can use the verb to be. It's more colloquial. Mm -hmm. yeah. I wouldn't say something speaks about. It is about. Yeah, good point. Um, uh, Kiara says, ah, got it. Okay, good. Beatrice, okay, okay. 
Lovely. And Katarina, I love my cat and we play with a small ball together. In the evening, I usually watch films with my family. In this period, we watch more films. If I don't watch films, I read. Nice. I love cats. I love cats too. Yeah. I have a, a picture on my whoop, phone. This is this was my kitty. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. Oh, Hello, oh, little I kitty. Know. I love cats too. It would be nice to have a cat right now at home. Katerina, you're very lucky. Oh, and your mm -hmm. name is Katerina. It has cat in it. That's very cool. Yeah. I hope Chicho comes to visit my neighbor's cat. I hope okay, he visits. Right. I remember from yesterday's webinar. Maybe some of you do as well. I remember that Kendra has her neighbor has two cats that sometimes come to visit. That's really Chicho. cool. Chicho. Makia is very shy. Okay. Only Chicho. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. But now Makia will let me pet him. He'll let me oh. pet yeah. him. But Chicho likes to come into the house and hang out with us. That's awesome. And then I love Stefania. Yeah, I love Chicho. Stefania, the best book that I was reading this year, or I, I read this year, um, was The Serious at Traversa Specchi. I attend the fourth book. So I attend Stefania as a false friend. You might mm -hmm. mean I am waiting for the fourth book. Uh. Right, attend in English would be I attend a seminar about something or I attend a class, right? Mm -hmm. it, it's connected to the word attendance, so it means to be present. So, you, you, if you, so you don't attend the book, maybe you attend the presentation at Feltrinelli of the book, but you don't attend the book, you wait. I am wait waiting for, for the book. That's great. Interesting. I don't know that book. And we have Carla. I love to watch skiing. I love to watch skiing. It is very exciting. Interesting. That's very cool. I love to watch skiing. Katerina. Let's see here. One of the most interesting filmmakers, one of filmmakers is... I don't know, Polanski? Polanski, yeah. With his piano player, for example. And one of the best authors is Kafka. Very cool. Yeah, the metamorphosis. Yeah. Ooh. So a reminder to everyone, when you say one of the, it does seem like you would say it singular because you're talking about superlative and you're talking about one. However, one of the best, let's take authors, authors, so I'm writing it down as well. Yeah. One yeah. of the best authors, we need to have the S. Because we're talking about many and we're choosing one. Yeah. So maybe you want to say one of the most beautiful cities in the world is Bologna because maybe you don't want to be using superlative. When you use the superlative and express your opinion, it's very strong, right? If I say the best city in the world is Bologna, you might say, that's a very strong opinion, right? That's very like, so a lot of times we can say one of the best cities in the world yeah. and it makes it a little bit sweeter, right? It's a little bit less opinionated and it's a little bit more kind of open and kind, right? Oh, did I? And I might have wrote this wrong. One of the best plus plural, not one of the plus plural. <laughs> yeah, one of the best. Yeah. Let's see. Carla. Oh, I have to, so careful. The past tense of to have. I have is the present. I had. H-A-D. I had three cats during my time in Abruzzo, but now in Naples, I don't have any pets. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had mm -hmm. one cat in Los Angeles and now in Bologna, <laughs> don't have any pets. It's very sad. But mm -hmm. thank you for sharing, Carla. And then Angela. I love my dog. We often play, switch those together. And he, third person, he sleeps in my room with me. I consider, I consider now my dog like my brother. Like my brother. Okay, I consider like my, my dog brother. my brother. 
Yeah, my, my cat was like my sister. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, in this period, I watched films on TV with my family and I, careful say is to sp like speak, maybe I watch Maya's activities on YouTube. Awesome. That's fantastic, Angela. And we are also doing Maya's activities on YouTube and it's nice to be sharing them together with yeah. you. It's Let's see, Patrick. Yeah, thank you, Angela. Patrick is saying, for example, London City is the most expensive in the world. So no, you would say London is the most mm -hmm. expensive city in the world. If you want Patrick to express that opinion, London is the most expensive city in the world. Is that clear? Well, London is the most expensive city in the world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that would be your superlative, meaning it's at the top. But maybe also, I think San Francisco, London, New York, New York. New York. Maybe London is one of the most expensive cities in the world. Mm -hmm. One of. Yeah. Cool. Good. All right. Should we move on to our next slide? Yeah. Why not? That's okay. Good. Drum roll. Here we are. Okay. You want to read? I would love to. So what do you like to do? Talk with your partner about activities you enjoy and how often you do them. So we want adverbs of frequency now. How often you do them. Give your partner advice for each activity. For example, I go to a museum every week. The best museum is the National Museum of Art because... La di da di da. You la should know because la di da 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 di. Right? Okay. Kendra, do you want to read the various? Yeah. So go to the museum, go to the cinema, go out for dinner, go to a concert, go dancing, go to the theater. Did I say that? No. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought I said go to the theater already. Go to a sports event, go on a boat trip, and go to the beach. I yes. Like the beach. Let's see. Oh, good. Patrick says, thanks. And Katerina, but I also start to watch films in English with its subtitles or with subtitles and to read some easy books such as books, plural, such as Hemingway. Both of them are the best training to improve the language. Absolutely, Katerina. Yeah. Watching films in English with its subtitle is great. Also, sometimes it's nice to watch a film that you know perhaps um, in with the subtitles in English, but something that you've already seen to watch it again. So you could also watch a film in English with the subtitles and then try to watch the film again without the subtitles. And yeah. the way I feel, if it's a good film, it will express and you can follow it, even if you don't understand completely all of the language. Yeah. But that's great, okay. Katerina. Also, I have... What's that? A good way to practice. A good way to practice. So what do you like to do? I just want everyone to know, in case you don't, that there is a concert today at 6 p.m. in Italy. Has anyone heard about this, right? Because we talked about music in the beginning, and we enjoy music. I love music, and I play music. And I want you all to know that today at 6 p.m., everyone is invited to play music, to open their window and play their instrument. So if you play guitar, I think Katerina plays piano, or if you play mm -hmm. flute or anything, this kind of a national call to play an music. instrument at 6 p.m. So you could also play, let's say you have a bell, you could play your bell, or <laughs> you could play your pots and pans. Just the idea is to have some. <laughs> Some loud noise all together at 6 p.m. So in case you didn't know, that's something that's that's cute, fun, that will happen today. Yeah. Um, Chiara, let's see here. I go on a boat trip every summer. The best trip or the best place? Yeah, in the best place. A Greek island. So that a Greek island, if you're using the adjective to describe the island, you should go because it is a fantastic experience. Thank you, Chiara. I would love to. Okay. Good usage. You should go. My my great grandfather was Greek. Oh. 
That's cool. My great grandfather was born in the island of Rhodes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which is now Greece, but which at the time was the Ottoman Empire. Ooh, wow. Interesting. Yeah, a long time ago. Great grandparents. Yeah, yeah my cool. when my great grandfather came to the United States, he changed his last name from Alexopolis to Alexon. How interesting. So there's other Alexopolises perhaps in Greece that are your relatives. It's a very traditional last name, Alexopolis. It's probably really? like cool. <laughs> Wow. That's awesome. Yep. George mm-hmm. Alexopolis. So love it. There's too many of them. I I've tried to like track, you know, family history and Yeah, it can be tough. The farther back you go, yeah. So what do you like to do, everyone out there, our viewing audience today? What do you like to do, right? Beatrice, I, so I, with my husband, go to listen to a concert one time in a month. We listen to it at the Auditorium of Milano and sometimes, to, wow, the Scala, beautiful place. But so you want to, Beatrice, have subject, verb preposition right so as opposed to i with my husband go you would say i go with my husband yeah okay. or my husband and i mm-hmm. my husband and i go to listen to a concert one time a month or a month. once or once a month also once, once a, month. a month so beatrice tonight at 6 p.m you will be able to hear some music probably Spontaneously, yeah. people will, will be playing. So, yeah, exactly. One, One time, time once. once, two times, twice, three times, <laughs> three times, three times, <laughs> thrice, right? Yeah. Long, three long, times, long time. four times, three times, four Good. times, five times are fine. Mm-hmm. Good, interesting. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Anyone else? What do you like to do? What do you I'm like to do, Kendra? You know, I, oh goodness, looking at this list, I like to go out to dinner. I like to go out for dinner with Eight. my friends um, at least once a month, probably, mm-hmm. a group of us. Cool. That's yeah. fun. Yeah, I like to go out to dinner as well. It's nice to go and try a new place or something, right? Yeah. Like, I really mm-hmm. like to try new places, try new uh, yeah. restaurants. Yeah. But, oh, I love going to concerts. Oh, me too. Uh, it's just finding, I have to like s- take time to find the concert, find the artist. When is it? Um, how much does it cost? How much does it cost? Yeah. Let's see here. We have Stefania saying, I go to a museum every month. In my opinion, the best museum in Rome. Very nicely put, Stefania. <laughs> That's great. In my opinion, the best museum in Rome is the Vatican Vatican Museum because there is the fantastic, so in English, it's the Sistine Chapel. You should go because to visit a museum is always a good idea. Very nice. Thank you for sharing. I quite like museums as well. We have Katerina saying, I'm going to go out with my friends when it is possible. Me too. (laughs) Yes, absolutely. In the future, when it's possible. Yeah, Beatrice once, once, good, good. Let's see here. Kendra, do you want to read Patrick? Yeah, I go to a sports event once a month. Don't forget your N, month. The best sports event is the soccer match in the Champions League because I feel the best emotion with fellowship in the stadium. Maybe maybe camaraderie, fellowship, yeah. togetherness. You could also say togetherness. That's mm-hmm. nice, Patrick. Sports event. Simon, we're very happy to see you and welcome. Hi, we're happy Simon. you enjoy watching webinars. Happy we also Friday enjoy morning. doing webinars. It's quite a pleasure. And we're enjoying everyone's interaction. So thank you, yeah. everyone, for being here. Uh, Carla says, I enjoy walking. So I enjoy in the mountain forest in silence i do this activity sometimes when i return to abruzzo that's lovely carla sounds beautiful 
Yeah. Me too. I enjoy walking in the mountains in silence. Yeah. There's lots of nice places to hike in Washington. Also, in oh, California. I can imagine. What is it? Mount Rainier, right? Yeah. yeah also Mount in Rainier. California. There's a place in Los Angeles called Runyon Canyon. I'm not sure if okay. you've you've been or visited it, but it's basically so in Los Angeles you have the Hollywood Hills that divide mm -hmm. like Hollywood from the valley. Yeah. And in the Hollywood Hills, not far from the Hollywood sign, there's a canyon called Runyon Canyon, and it's beautiful it's really it's it's like in the city but you basically park because you're always driving but you park yeah. and then you walk up and it's about an hour and a half walk it's not a hike it's a walk okay but it's, it's beautiful walk. and you can see the sea yeah. or the ocean when you get to the top wow very nice That's yeah, I, recommend. I love when you can see the sea See the yeah. ocean for us. See the ocean, see the sea, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we share the same ocean. We're both West Coasters. Quite Pacific cool. Pacific Ocean. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Let's Angela. see here. We have Angela. I go to a swimming pool twice a week. Twice a, a week. week. Yeah. I like to go out for dinner with my friend. Okay. On the weekend. But in this period, it is not possible. Yes, Angela, we are all in the same boat, rowing in the same mm -hmm. boat, but it's nice to be together. So thank you for sharing. Kendra, would you like to read Chiara? Chiara. I go to a museum every single time I spend during a city break. Maybe I go to a museum every single time I take a city, take a city break. Or I go on. Go city on break. a city break, yeah. Um, or every single... Every time during a city break. Yeah, without spend. My favorite museum is the Science Museum in London. Yes, that's a really good museum. You should go there because it it is, don't forget your subject, it is a very interactive museum. Thank you, Kiara. Yeah. I've never been to the Science Museum in London. Have you been, Kendra? I think so. I went to, I haven't been to London for a long time. I need yeah, to no, go no, no. again because I have some uh, distant relatives wow. in London. Um, but yeah, I think I did when I was 13, okay. yeah. Yeah. Nice. 16 cool. years ago. Yeah. Crazy Thank you for the that. suggestion though, Kiara. Thank you everyone for your suggestions. I like that. It's nice when people share yeah. their suggestions and such. The Science Museum in London, mm -hmm. for sure. Very cool. Yeah. Anyway, what about what do you, you like to do? What about you, Monique? What are some things what you like to I do? Like? Good question. What do I like to do? I like to do yoga, for example. Yeah. I like to do, 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 do. I like to go to good concerts. Yeah. Good, but good concerts. I don't love going to concerts that are kind of let's say cliche or or yeah, I mean. As a musician, I notice I'm a little bit sometimes more uh, judgmental. Or, yeah, I try not to be judgmental, but I do sometimes <laughs> find myself maybe at a concert where I'm like, all righty, well, but I do love going to a good concert, like to a yeah. really proper good concert where it gives you emotions and you feel something. And in general, I mean, I also like going to museums to good museums, like in, um, in Bologna. <laughs> good concerts, I like, good well, museums. Yeah, good concerts, good museums. I like Mambo, for instance, in yeah. Bologna. I think that's a nice modern art museum. But yeah, let's see here. Get some more. Caterina. Uh, I like going to the gym. A gym. Oops, I spelled that wrong. Excuse me. I was typing too fast. No worries. Yeah. And doing Pilates three times a week. Wow. Yeah. Great. Very so active. Much. Yeah. Sporty, Katharina. And Carla, my main activity is theater training. Mm -hmm. Theater training, five days a week. Wow. Cool. That's nice. A lot of theater training. Yeah. Right? Luca Pirilli, hello. He says, I like watching films, TV series, and in particular, football. I also like going out with friends. So, Luca, just one thing to note. When you say football, 
And right now you're in a webinar with two people from the United States. So when you say football, what I think of, and I'm sure you do too, Kendra, is football. American football. This strange ball that's orange and like this. My brother likes football. I've never liked shape, football. Yeah, shaped like this. You take this and it's like 47, 52, hot. And I throw it and <laughs> big shoulder pads and like this kind the of helmet. Like, yeah. So that's interesting. Luca, do you like watching American football? Because I'm otherwise, soccer. <laughs> yeah, we, you might mean soccer. This is just to point out the difference that when you say football, if you're speaking to an American, we would think of this sport and not mm. the sport with your that you kick the with ball. But, yeah. but I mean, both Kendra and I live in Italy, so we understand that you most likely mean soccer, soccer. or or yeah. I mean, yeah. so we every now and then. Because, a student will tell me American football, and I'm very surprised, That's and I get awesome. very excited that they like American yeah. football. Do you like yeah. American football? I do like American football. I don't, I don't follow it as much as I used to, but huh. I used to really follow my university um, right. and the Seahawks. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, uh, yeah I've, I've never followed american football my brother is a big sports fan like really big like he loves the nba he love he he would collect baseball cards growing up he yeah. had baseball cards which were these little cards with every player on it i'm not sure if that is something that in italy exists or existed yeah. but it's really cool he had his collection he knew all the stats and my grandfather was from new york and he was a big uh what was he a big I can't remember, but let's say my grandfather was a big Yankees fan and my brother was a big Mets fan. So they were opposing teams. It was really funny. But yes, okay, Luca says, I like soccer. Thank you. Okay, yeah. thank you. We have Good. some other, Anya, usually I like going to the gym, don't forget the gym, and riding, uh, riding my bike in the park. Yeah, cool. Yeah, my bike. And Carla, I never go to the gym. But in my theater activity, we work a lot with dance and acrobatic movements. Fantastic. That's yeah. really cool, Carla. Yeah, everyone remember to try to be active at home. I say that also to myself. I shall share this. This is a true, a true thing. On my board, on my bulletin board, I wrote a big note that says this. Stretch. <laughs> because I'm very sedentary, spending a lot of time yeah. So everyone, if you're at home, we recommend that you stretch right now. Oh, it's difficult spending a lot of time at home. It's hard to remember to keep a little bit active. So moving, maybe move your head. Yeah. This, yeah, shoulders. Yeah, we carry a lot of stress in our shoulders too. Yep. So. And Luca, right. I don't watch American football, but I always watch the NBA. Okay. LA Lakers. Yeah. yeah. We don't have a team anymore in oh, Washington. Really? Oh, no. no, not in the whole state. We have a woman's team, but not a man, a man, male, men's team, men's team. <laughs> I can't. Interesting. I didn't know that. And we have we, the Lakers. We did, but yeah. they were sold. Yeah, and that's funny because we have two teams in one city. We have the Lakers and the Clippers. Yeah. yeah. How do you we like need that? One Maybe we'll yeah. Seattle will finally <laughs> buy a team. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Okay. Yeah, we were we were the Seattle SuperSonics. I don't know if you remember that team at all. What happened? They were sold, I think, to Ohio. Wow. I mean, I guess good for Ohio. <laughs> yeah. The team was sold, but now I'm I'm a big fan of Golden State. Nice. Very cool. Yeah. And Let's Catherine. hear. Katerina, I like going to the theater, doing it twice a week, and seeing some interesting performances once a month. Another note for everybody. In addition to the concert that's happening in the entire country of Italy at 6 p.m. today, where all musicians are invited to open their window and play, um, there are some theaters that are doing... Um, that are doing live broadcasts. For example, there was a theater yesterday that was broadcasting live an opera. They were broadcasting Turando. I think that it was the Teatro Comunale of Bologna. But if you look online, some theaters are starting to do broadcasts like our webinar, but they're doing actual performances 
on yeah. the internet. So take a look at that. It's it's very, very interesting. It's trying to find ways where we can adapt to the situation. And Katarina, theater is okay the way you spelt it. Um, that's a more traditional, like old school way. It's a more English way, theater, but both are correct. In the US okay. we use theater. I see Kendra that we're almost up for time. Yeah, we are out so of time. Thank you, everyone. Thank yeah. you. Remember, keep positive. We are going to get through this together. And it's been lovely, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Yeah, the next you again soon, guys. Webinar. All right. Cheers. Bye. Bye. -bye. Cheers.